Hey everybody, David, Michael here from Aerial Influence. You know, everybody's been excited about the Matrice 300, especially for search and rescue operations and, and all sorts of other stuff, you know, yeah. from, uh, from construction to engineering, uh, all sorts of different businesses have been reaching out to us about the capabilities of the Matrice 300. And we also get pitched lots of ideas for like gimbals, new gimbals that are coming out. We know there's a, a new LiDAR one coming out that we're excited to see yeah, at some point. That could be a real game changer, obviously. Uh, we once were pitched a speaker. We tried that one out, tested it for a client actually who was interested in it and it was not good. Yeah. We won't talk about who it was or what it, it was. It was, but... it was more of a software and firmware thing. Exactly. But I, I think it could be there it could yeah. be there it just was not ready for prime time quite yet but yeah uh, but one thing that is ready for prime time is this new spotlight this wingsland z15 yeah. spotlight so this is one that you can attach to the matrice 300 it's going to work in conjunction with the the camera the h20 or the h20t or any other gimbal that is that you can put on that first slot um and it'll go in conjunction with uh you know, you can sync it up to the movements of, of the camera as well. So that's that's even, that's that's nice. So as the camera moves left, the spotlight also moves left. They work in conjunction with each other. You can also work them independently. They don't have to be in sync with each other, right. uh, but it is really nice and, and very convenient uh, when they're on a search and rescue operation yeah. to have this really, really bright spotlight. Uh, so we just wanted to show you guys kind of how it worked. We had a lot of questions, you know, obviously seeing is believing. So since we can't have you all out here for a demonstration, which we'd love to do, if you're interested, give us a call, yep. uh, but we can't have you all out here tonight. So we thought we'd show you an example. We're going to send Michael out there. We're going to yep. uh, do some stuff in the dark and then shine the spotlight on it. So you guys can see exactly how this Wingsland Z15 spotlight works. You ready? I'm ready. Let's okay. do it. Okay. All right. Okay, so Michael is on his way out there. I'm gonna take the drone up in just a second and see how this spotlight works. Uh, important to note, we are 107 pilots. We also have our night waiver, so we are following all the rules. All right, so right now you guys can see pitch black. I'll go up. I'll go up relatively high. I'm recording the screen as well. So we are at 235 feet right now. Uh, I'll switch over to the screen view right now so you guys can actually see how you turn this on. Okay, here you go. So I can turn the LED on now. I do not have to stop recording. There we go. Okay, so one important thing, you do have to go to the settings and actually put in that you want the gimbals to work in unison, that you want them to work together. So that's what just happened. I hit that and then they immediately snap into focus together. So there is on, I'm gonna turn it off real quick just so you can see that's just above a parking lot uh, on our property here. So I'm gonna turn it off. All right, so there you're seeing the amount that it lights and that's at 235 feet. And there is the light again. So you see it does a pretty, pretty good job. All right, Michael, are you out there? I am out here. Do you want me to tell you where? Um, here, maybe I can probably find you with the thermal. All right, so gonna go out. We're gonna see if we can find Michael. Using the thermal before I use the zoom. Ah, there is a bright light right over there. I see him. All right. Uh, all right, so I'm locked on you on the thermal. I'm gonna switch over to the zoom camera now. Okay. Okay, so right now the spotlight is on. Let's see. That's pretty bright on my end. I'm gonna turn it off altogether just so you guys can see the difference. And that's off right now to you, Michael? Yep, that's off. Okay, and just so you guys see here, here's a thermal, here's a thermal image. And you can still see Michael there. I'll even zoom in a little bit. Uh, you can see him moving his arms. So this is a really high res thermal. We're at 200 feet right now. This is not something that you could do uh, with a Mavic 2 Enterprise zoom, obviously. So, okay, so now we're gonna go back to the zoom camera again. Let me show you the spotlight. All right, and there you see the spotlight. Let me go, now that we've identified the subject, I can fly over there. And subdue me with the grappling hook, right? Or has that come out yet? 
No, we don't have the grappling hook uh, gimbal yet. It's probably 2021. That's exactly right. Okay, so you guys can see right here. So we are at 206 feet right now. You can see the subject directly above. And now, now is when you really use the magic of this lens because you're at 200 feet and you can now continue to use your zoom because you've got that bright, that, that really bright spotlight. You can now see exactly what your subject is up to. Uh, actually, maybe you can, uh, here I'll pull up a picture real quick. See if you can zoom in on the picture. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, here, let's pick pick a good one. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Careful what you you're careful what you're showing us. There you go. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can move over with the little the little wheels a little bit. Oh no! All right, hold on. Here, you know what? I'm gonna put it on the ground. Okay. All right, so right now I'm not sure what that is, but let's see. I'm not sure what the picture is. It's too, it, it sort of washes out when you go in that tight. I'm at 160 times right now. Oh, uh, it's, it's a, it's, it's, it's a company photo of you and I. We, we can, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you, so. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll make sure we show that on the bright end of things uh, once, <laughs> once we uh, get things figured out. But as you guys can see, the spotlight, works really well. Uh, let me just turn it off again real quick. So we're zoomed in at 10 times right now. Um, there you go, spotlight off. You can see pitch black, you're not seeing anything. Suddenly. How, how many how many fingers do I, do I have out? Hold on. You have two on one of your hands, it looks like, possibly three. Um, I'm at 20 times right now. I can probably do a little better than that. You got one, right? Two fingers, and then you got like the I love you sign on the other hand. Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah, that's... Oh, is it uh, I, Texas Longhorns or... Yes, yes, exactly. Whatever you, whatever you, whatever you want it to be, that's what it is. Look up at us, look at, look up at me right now, Michael. So as you guys can see, like we're at 40 times zoom right now. We're at 205 feet. Um, you know, you can go a lot further in if you needed to. We there is at 80 times. Okay, so hold on one second. We should show them the other uh, beautiful thing here uh, real quick. The other thing that this affords you is the fact that now in the dark, you can actually track your subject with the tracking feature. So hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna latch onto Michael. Michael, stay right where you are. Okay, so it, oops, you see here, it's identified Michael as an object that can be tracked. So I'm gonna touch on him. Okay, Michael, if you wanna walk around a little bit. Sure. So I'll switch back and forth between what I'm seeing on my screen and what you're seeing, or what the actual camera uh, puts out, but you guys can see it can track an actual human being as it walks through the dark as long as you got this spotlight you can actually also switch over to thermal right now yeah that's so what as i was gonna see say right there you can track on the person on the zoom lens continue tracking on them as you switch over to, to thermal so now uh, i can actually zoom in on the thermal image if i want to and it will continue to track him as he walks. Michael, turn around and just look up and wave at us. Which I think is actually really powerful because if you think about it, the tracking function, it might not work all the time, especially if you're in the dark, if if, if, if whatever you're, you're tracking is going fast, goes behind a tree, you might, not, you might not see that right away and the drone might not be able to catch up with it. But if you are tracking to begin with, with the light and the zoom and then flip over the thermal, it's gonna be much harder because you're then, it's gonna be tracking. And even if the zoom does lose, you know, the tracking function, you're now still in thermal, which, you know, the, the subject should, you know, be able to be seen easier. No, you're, you're absolutely right. And I mean, this just makes things like, I, 
just so you guys see here, I'm not following, I'm not doing anything with this remote as he walks. It is completely tracking him all by itself. All right, so obviously pretty impressive. The Trace yep. 300 does a really good job. We're gonna do some more testing. We wanna do some stuff with night mode, obviously. That's a that's a big one and something I know you're really interested in. Yeah, I just, uh, just wanna kind of fool around with the, the, the IR tape and all that kind of stuff and see how, if it can work in conjunction with yeah, the, yeah. the drone, so. Absolutely, and, and and you know, how could that help save lives as well? If somebody's got an IR beacon or the, the tape that will show up and the person running the drone can tell that's our guy and that's not our guy you know right. that's a that's a pretty powerful tool as well exactly. so uh thank you guys so much for watching we're going to do more and more of these if you've got ideas you want us to try something let us know Send we're game for just about anything as long as yeah. it's not going to cost us money or our lives we'll do it or legal yeah, yeah so uh all right thanks so much <laughs> we'll see you next time all right thanks